Rogue supernovas that explode all alone in deep space present an astronomical mystery. Where did they come from? How did they get there? The likely answer, a binary black hole slingshot, according to a new study by Ryan Foley, a professor of astronomy and physics at the University of Illinois, using data from NASA's Hubble Space Telescope and other telescopes, Foley traced 13 high-velocity exploding stars back to the galaxies they came from to find the peculiar combination of events leading to the star's lonely deaths. His findings are published in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society. Foley set out to solve the puzzle of a rare, strange type of supernova found far from any galaxies or star clusters. The supernovas are known as calcium-rich because they produce an unusually large amount of calcium. Looking around where the supernovas exploded, there's nothing there, no trace of star formation, no clusters of old stars, there's nothing nearby, Foley said. So I knew that these things were starting somewhere else and moving long distances before they die. Examining the locations and kinematics of the supernovas, he was able to determine that the stars that exploded had been kicked out of their galaxies at very high speeds, millions of years before they exploded. To understand how the supernovas got so far from their galaxies, up to half a million light years away, moving at such high speeds, he looked at the galaxies that had produced the stars before ejecting them. 